and a big passenger ship which are still tied up in Istanbul and Turkey. The Turkish government will not allow them to proceed. Yeah. It's been that situation now for uh, nearly a couple of months. On the other hand, we've got our smaller ship, the, it's called the Handala, which has been doing the rounds and visiting um, over 20 ports throughout Europe and Scandinavia and is now in Malta. Every port they go to they get a tremendous reception and building up awareness about the situation in Gaza and building up support and building up the movement around the world. At the moment they're in Malta, uh, they're using the Malta stop for, to, uh, for te technical upgrade and, and fueling and and uh, and recruiting and uh, our two Kiwis on board who are part of the crew from Auckland there's uh, Rana Hamida and Yusuf Samoa um, yeah a round, a round of applause they're doing a, a fantastic job uh, and uh, they're giving Aotearoa, a, 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 a very uh, a, a warm, warm support from everybody, and um, unfortunately they're going to have to leave uh, the boat soon uh, for personal reasons. And uh, but the the boat hopefully will continue. The intention is to meet up with the other boats and and try and get them to uh, to leave together as soon as possible. So if you want to find out more about the Freedom Flotilla and how to support it, please just check out the Kia Gaza website. There's updates almost every day. Thank you very much.